Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh The Honorable All of the committee and participants On international e-conference On industrial, mechanical, electrical And chemical engineering 2020 Let me introduce myself My name is Ahmad Fatih Fadli From mechanical engineering of Universitas Blas Maret On this occasion I will present my research With the title Analysis of Titanium for oxide water-based photovoltaic thermal or PVT collector to improve solar cell performance. Solar energy is a very abundant source of energy, especially in Indonesia, because it is a country with a tropical climate. The solar panel is a tool to utilize solar energy as a sort of energy distribution, especially electrical energy. However, the problem that often occurs when using solar panels is when the temperature increase every 1 degree Celsius will reduce the efficiency from 0.4 to 0.65 percent. And what's worse, it can cause solar panels to burn. Therefore, the solution to overcome this problem is by cooling the solar panels to reduce the working temperature of the solar panel. Solar panel cooling system can be divided into two types, namely passive cooling and active cooling. Passive cooling is the cooling of solar panels which generally uses the principle of natural convection. Then for active cooling generally uses the principle of forced convection. In this research, I will use active cooling with the photovoltaic thermal collector method. The PVT collector system is a method of cooling solar panels using fluid flow inside a pipe attached to the bottom of solar panel. The working fluid is flowed by a pump with a certain mass flow rate. The working fluid flowing inside the pipe will absorb heat from the solar panels by force convection. In general, PVT system use pure water for working fluid. However, in this study, I varied the types of working fluids by using titanium for oxide water nanofluid to increase the heat transfer rate so it is more optimal in the absorption of heat from solar panels. The objective of this research is how the effect of titanium for oxide water based photovoltaic thermal collector on solar cell performance. And the scope of problem is the weather condition are considered constant. This research is a solar panel with polycrystalline type. The value of open circuit voltage is 21.8 volt. Short circuit current is 3.35 ampere. Maximum power is 50 watt peak, and the optimum of efficiency is. 14%. This is the design of the PVT pipe. The material that used is stainless steel with a rectangular hollow section. The total length is 5.91 meter. The section size is 3 times 1.5 cm and the thickness is 1 mm. The experiment scheme can be seen in the figure. The BVD pipe is attached to the bottom of the PV panel. The working fluid from the tank is flowed through the PVD pipe using a DC water pump with a volume flow rate of 50 liters per minute. To measure the intensity of solar radiation using a ground meter. To measure the temperature of the solar panel, inlet and outlet pipes. The pipe surface temperature is used a thermocouple whose value is indicated by the reader. Volt meters and ampere meters are used to measure the current and voltage at each value on variable resistor that has been determined. The experiment was carried out in three variations. The first is solar panel without the PVD system, then with the PVD system with pure water working fluid, and the PVD system with working fluid of titanium for oxide water nanofluid with a concentration of 
0.5%. This is the result of the experiment. First is the temperature. When a solar panel works continuously, the temperature will increase and affect the performance of the solar panel. By providing cooling system using the PVD collector system, it can reduce the working temperature of photovoltaic solar panels. On the graph, it can be seen that with increasing radiation in intensity, temperature will also increase in each variation of this experiment. The maximum temperature obtained on ground panels, panels with a water-based PVD system, and panel with TIO to water-based PVD system are respectively 65.2 degrees Celsius, then 56.5 degrees Celsius, and 53.8 degrees Celsius. The solar panel without cooling system have an average temperature of 8.7 degrees Celsius to 11.4 degrees Celsius lower than solar panels without the cooling system. And then the short circuit current. Short circuit current is a condition when the resistance value of the panel is zero, so that the maximum current occurs. From the graph, so that maximum short circuit current values that obtained is 2.51 amperes on ground panels, 2.75 amperes on water-based PVD system, and 3.1 amperes on titanium four oxide water-based PVD system. Open circuit voltage is the maximum voltage capacity that is obtained when there's no current flowing in the open circuit. Open circuit voltage is influenced by the intensity of solar radiation and the temperature of the solar panel. When the solar intensity and the temperature of solar panel increase, the open circuit voltage will decrease. At the maximum radiation intensity, the value of open circuit voltage obtained on ground panels, panels with a water-based PVD system, and titanium four oxide water-based PVD system is 19.2 volt, 19.5 volt, and 19.7 volt, respectively. This graph shows the, the effect of the sun's intensity on maximum power. Any increase in radiation intensity will cause an increase in maximum power. And the maximum power value increased from 36.12 volt to 46.5 volt when the working temperature of the PV panel degrees from 65.2 degrees Celsius to 53.8 degrees Celsius. And then this graph of the efficiency of solar panels in each solar intensity value and each variation. When the sun's intensity at a maximum point of 1100 watt per square meter, the efficiency of ground panel is 9.37% panel with water-based PVD system is 11.28% and with titanium four oxide water-based PVD system is 12.06% and then the conclusion of this research is the use of water-based PVD collector cooling system and the titanium four oxide water-based PVD collector is able to reduce average working temperature by 8.7 degrees Celsius and 11.4 degrees Celsius than the temperature of the panel without cooling. And then increase average output power by 7.38 watt and 10.38 watt than output power of panel without cooling. And then increase the efforts of efficiency by 1.91% and 2.69% then average efficiency of panel without cooling. Okay, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.